hi guys welcome back to my channel is ek is the first time here you're welcome if you are a subscriber thank you so much for tuning in again today's video is nigerian inspired by that look so stay tuned while we get right into this video first i'm cleansing my skin with the micellar cleansing water i love to work on a clean base so it helps my other products layer in well and um, next i'm going to be moisturizing our skin with the amari cold moisturizer plus burger this moisturizer is so so good like it's going to leave your skin plump and very moisturized next i'm going in with the Remel Stay Matte. I'm concentrating that on a T-zone because it gets oily around this area mostly. But I feel everybody gets oily around that area the most. So next is the foundation. I'm going in with the Maybelline Foundation in 360 Mocha Mocha and Nuban Beauty in number 13. I mix both shades to get a proper undertone. I love to mix foundations anyways because i feel that way i get a proper match to the person's undertone so i'm using this flat foundation brush from city color in f06 to layer in my foundation and then i'm gonna blend out using the wild glam cosmetics beauty sponge it is a damn beauty sponge anytime you see me use a sponge on here just know that the beauty sponge is damp this will help your products to blend in well and sit nicely nicely on the skin and also you know takes off excess products on the skin so i'm going back into that foundation because there are areas that needed more coverage which i am actually doing right now so i'm um, blending that out you need to take your time to blend your foundation because you don't want any cracks or you know your foundation not looking flawless so it's using the technique which you use in blending that will help your foundation to come out looking flawless and beautiful so i'm going to be spraying my face with this kiss beauty setting spray i just want everything to sit on our skin properly and you know give that flawless finish so i'm using the small hand fan to dry that down before i go in again to blend so i blended that out before i went in with my concealer underneath the eye so i'm using this concealer from zikel cosmetics in the shade um golden beige and then um putting that right at the outer corner of her eyes forehead bridge of her nose and then her chin and i'm also going to be using the therese concealer to apply that at the inner corner of her eyes because i wanted something a little bit lighter to open up her eyes and make that area look more lifted and bright so yeah i'm using the Nuban beauty in number 15 to contour the sides of her nose her forehead her chin those are the areas where i want to hide so i am contouring that i'm also contouring our cheekbones to bring out our facial features more with the angle brush from city color in f04 i'll be blending the contoured areas i always blend my contoured areas first before going into blending my highlights because i want the concealer underneath the eyes to dry down just a bit because that way i'll get more coverage and also will help me have a flawless blend especially using the ferrucci concealer you need to leave it to dry down and again if you are using the amari code um, primer sorry if you are using the amari code moisturizer you will not want to use the ferrucci concealer because those two products do not go together they don't go well together i've tried that on several locations i keep getting the same results so i will suggest that you use another concealer that is a little bit on the mattifying side 
for you to have that coverage and also blend well into the skin whenever i blend concealer underneath the eyes i'm always using the pointy side of the beauty sponge because that goes into the areas where your brush will normally not go into and it will help your products to blend well so next i am blending the under eyes one more time because you might get some cracks if you don't blend well then i am setting the area using the sasha buttercup setting powder you can use any setting powder of your choice that's fine so i always set underneath the eyes first before going to any other areas because i do not want this area to crease remember if your under eyes crease and you set it like that that is how your under eyes is going to look for the rest of the day so guys we are going to see the people behind the model that is because i didn't make this video at home uh in the home studio i i did it in the studio like the working place that's why you'll be seeing you know a lot of people at the background because they're busy doing one thing or the other so i'm going to be setting the contour area using the v beauty um powder palette so i use i use the shade um maroon to set the contoured areas so next guys is the brows i'll be using the blood gel liner in granite to fill in the brows first i like to outline the bottom and the top part of the brows before i fill it in so i have a detailed brow tutorial three different videos on brows i'll be leaving a card at the top right hand on the screen so you check that out if you want to see my brow routine and then um outlining the top as well so guys take your time to do your brows for some brows is just a piece of cake but to some is a whole lot of work so you need to take your time to do your brows if you must have that you know good looking brows you always see yeah or you always want to so i'm filling in the brows right now with the same gel liner that i use so i'm just using that um brush to fill in at the beginning of the brows i'm giving this hair like strokes like a short hair like strokes you don't want to rub that at the beginning okay guys um highlighting underneath our brows using the same concealer i use for underneath our eyes then for the top of the brows i'm going to be using her shade of foundation because i don't want that hello look at the top of the brows then for the inner corner of the eyes i'm going to be using the shade that i use in contouring the size and her cheekbones because i want to maintain that contour look at the inner corner of the eyes so guys please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet thank you another thing i do is not blending out my highlight underneath her brows immediately because you want that concealer to dry down quick you want that concealer to dry down before you blend because if it doesn't dry down if you blend it's going to smear or separate so you want that to dry down so i'm using this kabuki blending brush to blend that so i always blend the top of the brows first because it's a skin color foundation the inner and then i go to the area where i use a lighter shade so now guys i'm going to be applying the benign clown white as an eyeshadow base so i'm blending that with a small flat um blending brush so guys for beginners i have eyeshadow tutorial i'll be leaving a card at the top right hand side you can check that out next guys i'll be creating my eyeshadow look using the juvia's place eyeshadow palette i'm using the shade Ada in the masquerade palette to create my base and then i'll be going in with the zulu palette i'm taking the yellow sorry the yeah the yellow um shade uh for my transition color and i'm also going to be going in with the orange shade as well 
to deepen the outer corner of my eyes just a little like give some depth to the transition colors and then i went into the sb sparkle palette i went into this shade called dust orange for my brow bone and then i am using this glitter glue from uh, adn i'm using that as a base for the glitter that i'm going to use so i went into the same sb sparkle i took the shade bronze tone as my glitters so i'm using my hand to pack that glitters onto her lid because i feel this using my finger is just the best thing for me but you can use the brushes if that works for you but i feel my hands does a better job so i'm taking out that glitter from the lashes because some fell on the lash with the liquid eyeliner from mabrook i'll be lining our lash line so you want to take your time to do this as well detailing matters when it comes to makeup so take your time so i'm dusting off the excess setting powder underneath our eyes with the Isabel powder brush in mk2 so i'm dusting off and then i went back into my blush to give that warmth to her skin so the blush i use is from Juvia's place warrior palette i use the shade jarawa and kishna with the northern beauty the glow palette i'm going to be adding more glow to her skin i'm using those two highlighter star stroke and basil I don't know if I'm always wrong pronouncing that name like I always find it very difficult pronouncing it I'm going to be leaving the name on the screen so you guys will help me out okay all right so I'm just using my Vicabel small blending brush I, I love small brushes like this like it's detailed for my highlight and then I'm going to be applying my first lashes from Mesmetics in the style candy this is their premium name collection I love this lash because it looks so natural and fluffy so I'm using my lash adhesive from Dio it is clear glue like it dries down clear so she was asking me if I'm spoiling the lash so I was actually taking off the excess lash band because I don't want that to make I feel uncomfortable so you always want to do that so and then i'm applying the lash adhesive to the lash band i always let that to get tacky that's why i'm finding it just as it is so i place it right on her natural lash and push it to the natural lash line next i'll be using the waterproof eyeliner pencil from polar beauty in 002 blue for a waterline next i'll be using the mascara from zaron to pick both the bottom lash and the upper lash guys i love this mascara because it has the side that you use in picking the upper lash and then you use a tiny side to pick the bottom lash which i love 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 so guys is the lip i'm using this um lippy from classic it's called thunder to outline her lip and then i'm using the red at the middle of her lip it is called flame this is from nuban beauty pro matte liquid lipstick so i'm blending both lippies together because i'm creating an ombre look and i do not want a demarcation in between the two shades of the lippy that i apply so yes that is it for this bridal inspired look so thank you so much for watching hope you learned a thing or two from this video if you love it please give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below share with friends and also don't forget to subscribe right below and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a thing whenever i post new videos so thank you for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys oh thanks like clown